What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Wayworth Racing. Welcome back to the IMSA iRacing series. This is week 11 in the championship. There's one more race to go, and that is at Daytona Road Course. I don't really... I wasn't really looking forward to this race. Virginia is a great track, but it's not really conducive to multi-class racing. Um... IMSA does run here in real life. They just ran here this past weekend, but it's kind of like Lime Rock. They just run the GTD and GTD Pro. I look for this to be pretty chaotic. Um, and that's kind of why we chose not to qualify and just start at the back so we can just stay out of everybody's way. Um, there's... You would think for, I guess, as long as the track is that there would be a lot of passing opportunities, but there's really not. You've got the front straight here, and then you've got the back straight. And really, there's just like this section. You don't want to try to really pass there unless unless it's just perfect. If, if the guy knows you're there and he's kind of letting you by, then you might be able to get away with it, but... There's just too many spots on this track where the racing line will just cut you off. Um, if he stays on his racing line like he's supposed to, there's just no room for you to pass left or right. So we will see what happens. Look how many GTP cars <clears throat> are in this track or in this race. This is crazy. Get blinkers. Get ready. This is going to be a mess. Green, green, green. Car right. Yep. Still there. We don't care. Clear right. Mutz is leading the race. Okay, Christopher, decent start. We can build something from here. Hopefully people behind me aren't real aggressive because it's not like you're going to go anywhere. just wanted to have a nice smooth race doing better than I thought we were going to do. Mm -hmm. 
come on. Nice rejoin. You know, if you were right. gonna pit... Right ahead of us is <laughs> Carpenter. B-16. Wait until we start coming into traffic. Okay, Christopher, hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. Ryan, Jim. On your left. Clear left. Fastest lap for Ranieri, 132.1. Trying to keep it smooth. Fourteenth. That was a 134.8. That's your fastest lap today. On your left. Still there. Clear left. Great. Okay, Christopher, our fuel window will open after 14 minutes and closes after 37 minutes. The gap to quarter behind is increasing. It's now 1.8. Be nice if we could pull away. Front is now 1.8. Slower class car ahead. Good grief, right, man. Left side. Clear left. Guess he got nervous. Can run faster laps. Should be running like a at least a 33. That's 
new fastest lap for Rowden, 132.1. That's your quickest lap in this session. is now 3.8 seconds. <laughs> Trying to be easy on the tires. know if we should change the front or the rear. I feel like we could be so much faster in that corner, but it's easy to, it's easy to mess that corner up. Lap time was at 134.2. We got a bunch of traffic coming. There's a group of slower cars ahead. On your right, play right. Christopher, you're approaching some slower cars. These guys are fighting. Left side. Clear left. On your right. Clear right.
Right side. Right side. Clear right. That was a, admittedly a pretty shady pass, but. You're coming up on a slower class car. The gap to cop behind is now 8.4 seconds. Get... Car right, clear right. If you don't get past there, you're kind of stuck. The gap in front has increased to 3.4 seconds. Lincoln. Clear left. On your right. Clear right. Okay. Not bad. Slower car ahead. This is their class leader. Left side. Clear left. Definitely don't want to screw up the, the class leader. When the cloud goes in like that, Definitely changes like how the track looks. Nine minutes remaining. The gap in front is now 2.8 seconds. New fastest lap for Rowden, 132.0. You've used half your fuel. Temperature's decreasing. It's now 98 Fahrenheit. Hitting already. P11. Okay, Christopher, pit window is open. Coming up on a slower class car. Right side, clear right. Hopefully we can get around him before the What's he doing? Car right, play right. I don't know, front or rear? Lap time was 134.7. I think we've been harder on the rear than the fronts. Okay, Christopher, the next car is Mantella. The 
gap to cop behind is increasing. It's now 19 seconds. The track temperature is falling. It's now 94 Fahrenheit. The grip should get better. Mantella ahead is now 5.8 seconds. position. You've just done a 134.3. Well, so far so good. It's been Pretty smooth race. Just trying to be consistent. that halfway mark yet all right Christopher 10 minutes of fuel remaining there'll be chances here let's make sure we can take them B9 you've just done a 134.3 Lighting screwed me up. I wish the sun would come back out. <laughs> the gap to Mantella ahead is now 7.1 seconds. All people need to do is have a little patience. That's true. What usually causes problems is when, say you're a GTP and you have a GT3 in front of you. But you have a GTP behind you. You slow up for the traffic and they almost always try to take advantage of that. And they end up usually hitting you. Eighth place. Or hitting the GT3. We're halfway through. We estimate eight minutes of fuel remaining. Twenty-two minutes. This should be halfway. The track 
temperature's decreasing. It's now 90 Fahrenheit. The gap to Mantella ahead is now 8.4. Mantella in front is pitting. All right, we'll do one more lap, and then we'll go ahead and pit. We've got 14% fuel. P7. That last lap was a 135.0. Okay, Christopher, your lap times are pretty consistent. Sun comes back out, you get a little more of your depth perception back. Slower class car ahead. in a group of slower cars. Pit lane speed limit is 37 miles per hour. Okay, All Christopher, right. we'll fill you to the end of the race. We're going to take new rear tires and some fuel. Behind is pitting. Your exit's clear. Watch the white line. Come on, keep digging. Let him Tenth go. position. Whoa, we got new rear tires and they're cold. Been pretty gentle on the front. Cold rear tires, you know, just gotta be careful. It's now about 3.2. The truck temperature is increasing. It's now 94. See how nice I was with the coming out of the pits? <laughs> Should be coming up the temp. P11. You're approaching a group of slower cars. On your right. P12. 
clear right. New fastest lap for Mutz, 132.0. This section you can't really pass safely anyway. It's best to just kind of wait. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? See, I, left side. I want them to just left. stay on their line and maintain their normal pace, but he goes wide and slows down and it just makes it confusing. Lower class car ahead. Thank you, Jim. I see him. The gap ahead is now 7.5. On your left. Clear left. The leader, Mutz, is pitting. Fastest lap for Go, oh, 131.6. Okay, Christopher, 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Who's in front of me? These are lapped cars. They're down a lap. You're coming up on a slower car. Or they're slower. Try to use the headlights as much as you can, just to try to let the car know I'm there and I'm about to overtake. their class leader. The leader, no, is pitting. We're just gonna have to wait till that little section right up here, then we can get by him. Car left. Clear left. Gap in front is increasing. It's now 10 seconds. Woods is now in the lead. Probably not used to having GTPs be patient. Tried to be easy on the front tires this whole race. Where are we sitting? P10? I can live with that. Ooh, that was like our first little first little lockup. Wasn't too bad though. Uh -oh. All the 
cars in front of us currently are down a lap. It's now 98 Fahrenheit. <laughs> Seven minutes left. Lower class car ahead. Try to get a little draft. Right side. Play right. The gap in front is now 10 seconds. was a 133.9 sector one is 0.6 off the pace sector two is 0.8 off the pace sector three is 0.9 off the pace the lmp2s aren't drastically slower than the GTP. I would rather just wait until the straightaway slow up a little bit. Through here, there's just no safe place to pass. On your right. Clear right. Through here is just about impossible.
All the uh, GTPs in front of us are a lap down. not always about being the fastest you just want to be consistent you know have the same breaking point for every corner about you, mate. You're coming up on a slower class car. Like, you probably could have waited to rejoin there instead of popping out in front of me. I know it's it's hard to look at your relative and Bunch of traffic up there. Slower class car ahead. It's almost over. Just got to hold it together. OK, 
Cape Christopher, five minutes of fuel remaining, five minutes. Clear left, on your left, clear left. You're approaching a group of slower class cars. Work our way through this traffic gently. Car right, clear right. Left side, clear left, car left, clear left. Slower class car ahead, he's their class leader. Clear left. Last lap. One more to go. Two minutes left, two minutes. Wise is now leading. Yellow flag. in front is Ranieri. You've got one gun on the left. Coming up on a slower class car. Tenth position. Okay, that's the end. Good finish, mate. Well done. There we have it. All right, let's take a look at the results. take a look at the incidents first maybe yeah let's do that all right guys we're back at lap one here let's take a look at the incidents i'm sure there was a few hopefully the incident reel isn't too long i'd hate to omit another one Try not to talk too much through it. Uh, he got on the bad side of the curb and just hooked him.
the shiny car. I think I read somewhere that I don't know too much about it. iRacing racing does have um, like different textures. You can program things to make them more or less shiny. Uh, we were right behind that. I'm like, what are they doing? Just hit your brakes and separate a little bit. Try not to cycle too quick. Every time you do, it seems to mess up. It'll get stuck on one car. <laughs> yeah, you can't go too wide through there. We got lucky there. I had a one pass that was probably a little shady, but we didn't hit anybody. Oh, that was nice. Why wait when you can just ruin somebody else's day? Five minutes so far. Oh. Man, I hear tons of thunder out there. I live in Florida, so I know the, the hurricane's coming. Oh boy. That was... That was lucky. Done. Grief. That's why I said during the race, you don't always have to be the fastest. You just have to be consistent. If you can string together 30 laps without wrecking, you're doing better than most. could have got to the other side of the track but I guess better safe than sorry we're at the seven minute mark Ooh. what was the LMP2 what was he doing so close to the GTP? I, 
think some some of the LMP2 drivers think they're directly competing with the GTPs. This is such a tricky part of the track to get right. And there it is. Get out of my way. I'm the faster car. You're slowing me down. Oh. Dang. It kind of depends on the setup, but this car is really fickle when you come off throttle. Um, the, the rear end will come around. You almost have to keep like a constant throttle through the corner, even if it's just a little tiny bit. It'll keep the car more stable. And we're at the nine minute mark. Good grief. I have not had a short incident reel in this series in weeks. It's always been 15, 20 minutes long. It's I've been leaving it out for the most part just because do you guys really want to sit here for 20 minutes and watch cars wreck? But that would be good to know. Comment down below. Is this worth putting in or am I wasting my time? I'm looking forward to uh, season four, all the new updates and stuff. Of course, they showed a lot more rain. Ooh, good grief. Which I doubt if we'll get it this season, but I feel like it's close. Within a, within a few seasons, we should have rain. Oh my God, are we done? Holy crap, 10 minutes exactly. All right, let's take a look at the results. I will get you guys out of here. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Let's uh, take a look at the results here. There were three splits. We were in the second split. That's what I suspected. Because I didn't really see any Division One drivers. So look at that. That is awesome. Back up to 3.99. Thank goodness. <laughs> we picked up plus 44 safety rating. I believe we had zero incidents. Yes, zero. I definitely needed that. And as you can see, we picked up plus six. That takes us to 2.407. That is currently our record for I rating. I, I'm pretty sure that's the highest we've ever been, 2.407. All right. There was a lot of GTP cars. There was 48 cars in the field. That's a lot of cars on, on that particular track, but let's see who picked up the most plus 80 plus 85 Jeremy Weiss plus 85. That's good. And who lost the most? Well, that's easy to see. Looks like this guy, David lost 102. He was in the GTP. Just says he disconnected 28 laps down. So that must have been at the beginning of the race. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap up this week in the IMSA series. Next week is the final race of the season. And it is at Daytona Road Course. Always a favorite of mine to race there. I know the track well. That doesn't mean we're super fast there. But I do know the track well. I'm going to try to practice as much as I can this week being the final race of the season and see if we can at least have a good race. And before I, before I let you go, let's take a look at where we sit in the series. So overall out of all 10 divisions, we sit 
P171. Um, which not bad. Top 200 drivers out of all 10 divisions. But our division is Division 2. If you look at Division 2 standings, we sit P69. Um, not too bad. In the GR Butt Kicker Cup, because we also run that, all divisions we sit P77 and in division two we are at P30. So not bad. Top 30 drivers in division two. That's pretty good. So there you go. That's where we sit with one race to go in the season. You guys take it easy. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, and subscribe if you think this is the place for you you have any comments or questions or anything like that you can leave it down below you guys take it easy as always i appreciate it and i will catch you next time